Hey, what's going on everybody? Steve Rakin here. In this video, I wanna talk about how to get started making money selling on eBay if you're dead broke. I get asked all the time, Steve, you know, I wanna start making money online. What's the best way to get started if I don't have any money? And to be honest, I would say eBay is probably one of the best ways to start making some quick cash so you can start saving up and then investing in other ways, which there really is. There's a million different ways to make money online, whether it's Amazon or it's your Shopify store or it's other platforms like Merch by Amazon or Kindle Publishing or building your own brand. But selling on eBay is a great option. I started selling on eBay about five years. It's how I quit my job working at pizzerias, at the Cracker Barrel, Toys R Us, gas stations. And um, you know, within about probably a couple months of selling on eBay and then even selling on Craigslist, which I'm going to talk about, I had saved up enough money to quit my job and um, you know start making money online with various other uh, income streams as well. So uh, let's get into it. How can you get started making money on eBay if you're broke. Maybe you have like, I don't know, 50 bucks or 100 bucks or not even that. You don't, maybe you don't even have any money. How do you get started? So I have five tips for you, five hands-on strategies to get started making money. Number one, start looking around your house. You know, the average person probably has a couple thousand dollars worth of products, resale value, that if they started listing it on eBay, they could start making some quick cash. So take a look in your basement, take a look in your attic, take a look around your room. There's money just laying around and you wouldn't believe it. You're probably thinking to yourself, you know, who would want that? crappy old bicycle seat or who would want that you know outdated iPod believe it or not you know there's there's that saying there's an ass for every seat it's so true the things in life you think don't even have value to somebody so much value so start looking around your house and then just pull out your your phone download the eBay app and start looking at what these items are selling for there's something called the sold listings type in the item maybe it's a uh, an iPod type it into the eBay search hit sold listings hit the condition the color all that stuff and you'll see quite quickly that that item probably has some value so start looking around the house that's number one number two consignment so maybe you don't have any items around your house. Maybe you truly are dead broke. You don't have any money. Maybe you've sold all your stuff in the past. Uh, the second option is to add value to other people. You know, if you don't have items that are laying around the house, I can bet my, my bottom dollar that your friends, your family, the people you work with, maybe at your day job, have things laying around the house that they would like to get cash for, but they're either you know, one, too lazy to sell it themselves, or two, they didn't even realize that you can sell stuff online. So start asking around. I mean, you could create a little business card or a little flyer, you know, obviously after you do the research process and learn how to list items on eBay and how to sell and ship, which I have a ton of videos about that on my channel, but start asking around, start putting out the word. And I'm telling you right now, I've done this in the past when I first got started and everybody has an item or multiple items that they would, um, you know, like to get listed. What, you know, what, what do you charge them? I don't know, usually maybe like a 50-50 split or maybe 60% to them, 40% to you. Uh, you know, you gotta understand there is a little bit of liability with returns and refunds and items getting damaged. So you wanna protect yourself and let them know that if you can, I would say, hey, you know, I'll sell this for you and then I'll pay you after the, the refund, um, uh, the refund date, which is usually like 30 or 60 days. I know it's changing all the time, but look into that. Uh, number three, a great way to get started, to be able to source, to be able to get your hands on really profitable items, very, very cheap, garage sales. If you're broke, if you don't have much money, you know, you can go garage selling with five or 10 bucks and find a lot of items. There's a lot of items you could find for a dime, you know, for 25 cents, for a dollar, or maybe even three or four bucks and turn that into 40, 60, 100. And what you do is, after you sell that and you make your money, take it back and then go back into it. Go back to the garage sales, right? Um, you know, build some flyers or some business cards and start consigning stuff for your friends and whatnot. There's so many opportunities out there, it's insane, but garage sales are a great way to, um, to make money. You know, download the app Yard Sale Treasure Map onto your phone. I believe it works for iPhone or Android, and it'll actually tell you where all the garage sales are on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday morning, and um, it'll actually like navigate you to them. So check that out. Uh, number four, thrift stores. Um, you know, thrift stores are a great way to get your hands on really profitable products, whether it's clothing, electronics, or books. There's so many various items out there that people donate that are worth so much money. 
And uh, a really quick tip is go on the half off days. You know, I'm over here in Connecticut and every Sunday over at Goodwill, they have a color for each different product and they have like five different colors. And every week they cycle through another color and any item in the store that has that color, maybe it's green, is half off great way to get your hands on really really cheap items also sometimes at thrift stores like for example at my Salvation Army they have a fill a bag day go in five bucks you fill a whole bag up of clothing and sometimes you could stuff 30 40 50 items in that bag for five bucks ten bucks it depends what the deal is and you get yourself a mass quantity of items dirt cheap and you could fail on you know 50% of them and still succeed on half or 30% and make your money back. So that's a great option right there. Goodwill, Savers, Salvation Army, any mom and pop thrift stores. Just go on Google, type it in, and you'll find a bunch of them in your area. And last but not least, the Craigslist free section. I can't tell you how many times I've made money on Craigslist. I haven't necessarily messed with the free section myself. Um, you know, I think I've picked up a couple things over the years um, but you know I got my start actually buying bicycles used bicycles on Craigslist and then reselling them on Craigslist so whether you're going into the for sale section or the free section you can find items that are just dirt cheap that people are trying to blow out get rid of maybe they're moving that's the best if they're motivated if they're moving or if they lost their job or sometimes there's like foreclosures on houses they just want to like get rid of everything you can get some amazing deals. So, you know, there's no excuse to, you know, get started making money selling on eBay. Even if you're broke, there's so many different options. Like I said, number one, sell stuff around the house. Number two, consignment, ask your friends, family, colleagues, anyone you're working with, hey, you know, can I sell this stuff for you? And, you know, I'll, I'll give you a cut. Uh, garage sales, amazing, amazing option. Check out the Yard Sale Treasure Map app. Number four, thrift stores. If you see me looking down at my handy dandy little list. Uh, thrift stores, Goodwill, Savers, Salvation Army. And number five, the Craigslist free section or just source locally. Facebook groups as well are great. Um, and you can acquire some products pretty cheap that are worth good money. So, Money's out there for the taking. Uh, so many ways to make money online, but I think eBay is one of the best and easiest ways to build up some capital, to start investing in other things that are a little more scalable. Um, and, and really, there's just endless opportunities. So go out there, crush it. If you like this video, do me a big favor, like, comment, and subscribe. If you wanna learn more about eBay, I'll link up a bunch of uh, cool eBay videos that I've created over the years down below. And uh, yeah, have an amazing day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.